Hello, Trem. Hello. Today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a throwback of my base favorites from 2019. And I think you have seen at least one throwback favorites. My two, I don't know. <laughs> but I love to talk about favorites and I love to talk about throwbacks because I think it's so fun to see if it is products that you just like love for a short while or that you have really been loving. So I am going to talk about my base favorites I had of 2019 and see if I still like them or not. I do not have all of the products here and I'm going to put up pictures on them here. I'm sorry to myself but I'm going to do that. I'm going to the info box for, from my video last year and I am going to check that because I don't remember everything. So I will start with the first one and this product I actually have left. I don't know why because this has been empty for a while. But I really loved the primer water from Smashbox and I actually still, I liked this one to the last drop of it. I think this is really really good. I liked it both as a primer spray and like a setting spray. The spray was really good. It didn't smell too much. It didn't mess up any of my other products. So this I've been really really liking and I want to have it again. But <laughs> it's just Smashbox. I think I, I have products that is as good as this one but are like half of the price. But if this comes like now at Christmas or at Black Friday or something and I can find this for half off I am going to buy it again because this I really really liked it so so much so yeah this is still a favorite but I think it's a little bit too expensive for me to buy it for full price half off I'm totally fine then my favorite foundation from 2019 I have used this some times during this year I think I'm not sure but this is one of my holy Gra holy grail foundations I have run out of two of these I think and it is the Lumine blur foundation and I love this it has been a long while since I used it I might use it soon because I really really been loving this this has been like one of my absolute favorite foundations ever and I still like it but I like want to try other foundations and yeah I don't know but I like this one but this one I need to use with lightning drops because this is the lightest neutral warm shade and the shade that is lighter is a little bit with pink and Pink undertone does not work with this face. So I have used lightning drops when I used this and that was a favorite for me last year and I still really really love it. For a pale person as me, lightning drops is like the best thing I have ever tried. And I talked about the lightning drops from H&M. They are really really good. I have nothing to complain about. They are cheap. The only thing, the bottle was not that good. I have thrown it away because it was, I ran out of it. It is good, but yeah. it is the good lightning drops. So if you want to test lightning drops or darkening drops, they have both. I can recommend the H and M ones. Then I actually talked about two low loose low powder loose powders. One was the Lumine Smooth Translucent Sheer Finishing Loose Powder. I still think this is good. I have gone over to pressed powder this year, but this is still a really good powder. And the other one was the Linda Holberg Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder. And I don't have that much left of this. The only thing is I can't... I use this to set my under eyes. And this deepened down some of my concealers. So the concealer I have today I can't use this together with this because this concealer is like the perfect shade for me. But with some that are maybe a little bit more highlighting, 
I can use this. I haven't used it this year, I think, actually. But it is a really good powder. Maybe I have. I, I don't remember what happened like 11 months ago. But this... This is still really good. Maybe I should just use it up. Because it's not that much left. So maybe I should just do it. It is... I don't know if you can see. This is not that much left of powder. This... This breaks my heart. Last year I got a favorite concealer. I still haven't found concealer that is as good as that one was. It is con discontinued in my shade. And it was the Viva La Diva Argan Oil. Concealer with Argan Oil. It was like a dream. I like scraped it off. And they discontinued my shade. I really love that one. I wished it would come back. But it's not. So it was still it would still be super favorite if it was existing. But it's not. It's gone. Then I actually had some favorite shades in this Infinite palette from Linda Holberg. I <laughs> mine looked like this. Maybe you can see which shades that has been my favorites. 2019 I love to use this Milky Way for highlight and Andromeda for blush. I haven't hit pan in Andromeda but I have hit pan in Milky Way and also Cigar. I use this for my eyebrows. And this Cigar is like it's still a little bit left. I don't know if you can see. This cigar, I loved it for my brows, but I also love this as an eyeshadow, and I'm like, I don't want to finish this up. This strange thing. I think I might going to use this again, because I, I really, really, really loved it for my brows. But I really like it as an eyeshadow as well, and I don't want to, like, finishing it. Because then I have to buy a new palette, because they are not sold as singles. So yeah, I still really love to use this palette for my face and also for my eyes. I think this is more like a face palette for me. And when I'm doing like a light, I just want to have a base makeup. I often take this and I think if I really like put my work into this, I could finish Milk Away. Maybe I should do that next year. To pan. Maybe I should try to pan in this. Should I? Yeah, maybe. But this is still loved. It is really good for like your face. And usually when I'm travel, I have not traveled as much this year. But when I go home to my parents, I usually bring this because I have everything in this. It's so good. What did I talk about, Mom? Another thing I love to use on my face is actually an, this palette. This is my little face palette. This is a big eyeshadow, but it doesn't fit anywhere else, so it's it's in here. I don't know if I have showed you this, but this is my <laughs> face palette. And I have been loving this one. I loved it 2019. This is Sculpt from NYX. I still used it so, so much during this year. And the thing is, I have not hit pan in this. I don't think, I don't know, is this the pan? This must be the shape of the pan. But it's not like, the pan is not showing, but if this is not the pan, I don't know. But like I tried so hard to pan this, but I like couldn't. I haven't used this for a while now actually because I have another super favorite when it comes to my contour. But maybe I should really try to pan this. Should 2021, 2021, I never know how to say it. 2021 be the year of panning for me? I don't know. But yeah, I still love Sculpt from NYX. It was just so annoying that it never I, I never hit pan. And then I was like, okay, I won't use you anymore because I just straight up hate you right now. 
but I still like it. it I absolutely recommend it if you are pale or light. It is an amazing contour shade. I have two more things that I've loved from NYX that I can take now. One is their Dew Setting Spray. And I think I've used up two bottles actually. One last year and one this year. I like can't understand that, that is that it is December. But I still really like it. I think it's a really good setting spray. The only thing I think the scent it's it's quite of a heavy scent or it's really it's really smelly not smelly but it is a strong scent and also it is a small bottle and I use <laughs> kinda a lot of setting spray because I love to do it. And I ran out of that. Maybe I come from three bottles, I think. I really do like it still, but I think it is too small of a bottle. But I, I can really recommend it still, and I I wouldn't mind to have it again. And then the last thing from NYX that I loved, 2019, and that I actually bought again this year because I really love it. And it is something that I have on today. That is this mascara worth the hype. I finally bought it again. I really do like it. I know it's not maybe like you got don't get like so full and super long lashes, but I really really like it. It gives me the length I want and it gives me like the volume I want and I I really like it. The only thing though, because it has one of Come on. What? It has one of these brushes, and these are not my favorite brushes, but this mascara, I like it so much still, so I don't care that it is a brush like that. So yes, this is still a favorite. And the last thing I talked about was also from Lumiene. It's a lot of NYX and Lumiene in this video. It is their eyebrow shaping wax. And I know that I said when I ran out of that, I think at least it was that, when, that went, that I really would love to buy it again. And I don't think I have. Or, yeah, I think I have actually. Yeah, I did buy it again this year. And I did run out of it again. I, I think it's a really, really good product and it is cheap and it holds my brows in place. I don't have it now because I think I found something that is better, but I wouldn't mind to buy it again because it's really good. Maybe I should buy it again. N no, no, no. When I find something that I love, I should stick with it. But I did love it, so I maybe should have stuck. Whatever. I really liked it. I still really, really like it. I have nothing to complain about it, but I want to try something new. And that actually is the favorites I had as base favorite of 2019. I am of course doing a base favorites this year and I... This is going to be hard. It is going to be so hard. I don't even want to do it <laughs> because how can I choose like a blush? How can I choose a highlighter that I have loved the most this year? I don't know. I have to start thinking about this. And which foundation? I don't know. I know the powder. That is like the only thing I know. Which powder I have, has, uh, have had as a favorite this year. Oh my god. It's a lot of H. But yeah. I really hope you like this video. And I think this is going to be the last throwback or the second. So I really hope that you like this video. I hope that you like throwback as I do. And I hope that I will see you tomorrow again. So yeah, that was all for today. I hope I will see you tomorrow. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I am all over the place. I'm going to stop, stop talking. Goodbye.